the solution can be imposed. If we are told that we are being attacked by an unknown alien civilization with amazing weapons, imagine the fear and terror that would pervade the Earth. Everybody would band together. Correct, and demand that the countries of the Earth do something together to stop this threat. Yes. And, of course, then we would have a new world order government, a singular government that controls the planet, which we already have anyway, but now would be officially wanted by the people. That would be a public. And then we would have this imaginary battle. They have something called Blue Beam Project, and Blue Beam Project is holographic images that are projected into the atmosphere and can look like anything. It can look like a, a religious figure. It can look like a UFO fleet. It could look like missiles. They've been targeting and practicing with this since the early 1960s when they actually tested it mm. over Havana Harbor when a U.S. submarine uh, projected the image of the Virgin Mary over Havana and was seen by all the people in the evening streets. As crazy as this sounds, some of it sounds very possible. Well, all you got to do is look at the newspaper, watch CNN, and you can see all of it happening. And it's right there in front of us. What minds developed this? Well... These are, this is not new. This has been going on since day zero on this planet for the ultimate domination and control of the planet. But I feel that it cannot ultimately be successful because, as I mentioned before the last break, we have that 97% of DNA that scientists call junk DNA. And the thing is that that 97% is common through all species, no matter what the species to me, that's proof of God or God mind, that there's a common 97% DNA through all species. And only 3% of DNA differentiates species and individuals within that species. So to me, that's very mind-boggling and proof of a higher intelligence. If we can tap in and open up that unused DNA we would have abilities that would enable us to remove victimization mind pattern that enables these things to occur. Well, explain that a little bit more. How? Well, human beings have a victimization mind pattern that attracts tyrants and depressors. And we project out from our minds into physical reality what our thoughts are, and the universe reflects that for us. Think of the analogy as thoughts being film the brain being the projector, and physical reality as the screen. So if we don't like the movie of our life that's playing, we need to change the film, which is the way we think. If we think in victimization terms and vulnerability terms, mm -hmm. we will create that kind of a world. If we take our mind back and control ourselves, then this cannot happen. We cannot be controlled by others. Why do they need the alien invasion to implement this? Why don't they just continue to push the terrorism agenda, for example? I mean, that will create fear no matter what, especially if they uh, magnify it. Initially, but that can last for just so long, just like the Cold War could only last for just so long. Then well, the, right. and then people will say enough is enough. Right, but an alien threat, well, that's out there in the universe, which is vast, that's forever. And it's also them against us. Correct. Basically. Correct. And so that's the ultimate fear user where everybody wants to band together to fight against this. Stuart, so you do know if this is possible, how warped their minds must be. Well, you know, again, that's why I explained the reptilian mindset. Uh, they think differently than human beings. We think in a different way than they do. They have in their minds all the time in the world because their genetics don't change. Their culture stays the same through mind control and programming, so there's no deviation. They're very sure of what they're doing. To them, in their minds, what they do is holy to them. How long do they live each as a physical being? How long? Well, we know the Queen Mother admitted to being 100-something years old, and she was a lot older than that. They can live several hundred years in the same body. The Queen Mother is a reptilian? Oh, she was, yes. <laughs> did, did you see the size of her coffin? It, 
the, no. the size of her human body. I did not see the size of her cough. Is there a picture I can find on the Internet? Well, there might be. I don't know. But it was quite much larger than what should have been for that little <laughs> lady's body. How big was it? It was, it was pretty large. It was, uh, to me, like, like a little like, piano like... case. <laughs> oh, like eight feet, nine feet? It was big. I don't know how. I mean, you can only see from the pictures, but it was you, very large. You're, you're saying when she died, the queen mother reverted to the reptilian stage. Yes. Yeah. And then became this large reptilian, and that's what they buried her in. Yes, yes, that is correct. Sounds like David Icke's been getting to you on this one, Stuart. Well, you know, the truth is still the truth. I've had reporters tell me that they know about this but cannot ever report on it. You mean uh, British reporters? Uh, or, well, or report well, actually, an American reporter said this to me as well as a British reporter. That the royal family, they're, are they pure reptilians or no, hybrids? They're shapeshifters, obviously. They, they go into human form. And isn't it interesting that Prince Harry this week said that he could never be normal? Now, of course, you could take that several ways, but I take it in a way that uh, he knows he's also a reptilian shapeshifter. Well, I was going to say, do these members know who they are or yes. what they are? Of course. When you're a shapeshifter, you know that. You know what you are. And All right, but how, how come y y you said like yourself that you have reptilian blood, I do. Mm -hmm. That's what you said. How come you can't shapeshift? Because I don't have a 50-50 split in genetics. Ah, but they do. They do. I see. Okay. Yeah, you, can, so the, yeah, you need to have a majority, at least, of, of the genetics in order to manifest the characteristics of the species. Most people in power on this planet are 50-50? No, I would not say most. I would say that there is a, quite a few, but most, I would say most are not shapeshifters, but there are many shapeshifters. And they're not just in control positions. There are many in all walks of life because they need to control every layer of mankind. Do you think I'm, that, that that lack of, I mean, do you think that the fear uh, equation is is also included in this because if you're afraid that they can get to you, then that changes the whole game, doesn't it? No, that's a, that's a very important point because what, what we're dealing with here is 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 frequencies that are either compatible or not compatible. You know, if someone is vibrating to the frequency of radio one, when radio two tries to attack it, it can't do it. It can't do it because radio one and radio two are on different frequencies. Um, once you get, uh, and of course, the, the, the base frequency of the control system is fear. It's low vibrational emotion. And, and I, I, I an interesting uh, uh, thing that I've noticed in my life um, over the years is one of the ways that the, the attempt has been to undermine me, and it's going on at this time, funnily enough, not that it will work, is to, is to create situations and people around me that will pull me in to that low vibrational emotional state. Because once once you're pulled into that, you're at, you're actually um, uh, thinking with with the vibrational frequency of the control system, and then they can start to to, to uh, uh, make a, an impact upon you. Um, and and so if you can if you can stay outside of that, then you're vibrating at one um, frequency. The control system's vibrating at another, and never the twain shall meet. This is why it's so important. Um, and, and I'm speaking to myself here as I say this. You know, I'm not the guru, Buddha, sitting on a mountain, cross legs, saying, this is what you must do. I've, I've sussed it. You know, we're, we're all in this, and we're, we're, we're all kind of working to, 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 uh, to get ourselves in a certain state, me included. Uh, but when you're aware of it, it makes it more, more e easier. And um, what, um, what we need to do is to just hold this understanding that we are infinite consciousness having an experience. We're not the experience. I'm not David Icke. David Icke's my experience. I'm infinite consciousness having an experience as David Icke. And w when you come from that perspective, it helps you hold perspective on the experiences that we have instead of being pulled into them so that you are the experience as well as having the experience, which means that, that, that you're pulled into a vibrational state where if it's an unpleasant experience and a stressful and fearful experience, well, th then, then you're being pulled into the stadium on which the control, in which the control system plays, plays at home. Um, and it's, it's, re it's, it's important that we, we hold this, uh, this, this understanding. And it's a real challenge because all the, 
five sense influences are telling us that you are David Icke, you were born in Leicester in 1952, and you are just one person, just Joe Public. You have no power. But but if we can if we can if we can resist getting pulled into that, to realise that re the reflection in the mirror is the reflection of the experience. It's not a reflection of who we are, though you can see who we are through the eyes often. Um, then you, you you you're in this world, as I've said many times before. You're in this world having the experience, but you're not of this world in 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 the point of. Uh, that you're perceiving the experience and and that can have a very powerful um, impact on not getting pulled into into fear and stress and all the rest of it which allows you to enter the the control systems uh, 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 stadium on which it wants everybody that's why it's created a society which is there to generate maximum fear maximum worry maximum anxiety maximum conflict is because they want us in a certain vibrational frequency range because that's the one that they can lock into us through mm -hmm. and for me there was a great um uh, a song years ago it wasn't actually a great song but the theme the theme was it was by, by a guy called val dunican an irish singer when i was a kid and um it said walk tall walk straight and look the world right in the eye that's what my mama told me when I was about knee high and if we are infinite consciousness and we are um, expressions of the infinite one then we should be looking each other in the eye oh yes respect um, other aspects of consciousness for what they're doing what they stand for what they're expressing yes good but don't get a crick in the neck looking up because you are the, you are them they are you I am you you are me um, and, and I still see um, hierarchical structures big time often within the new age movement and a hierarchy is illusion hierarchy is the control system you, you know we, we cannot have um a situation of hierarchy and then claim that everyone is 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 is, is an expression of the one we either are or we're not and and of course, hierarchies are the way that the, the control system um, imposes itself in so many ways because hierarchies are the few dictating to the many. And, and that can be a few bankers dictating to the entire banking system, a few politicians dictating to an entire nation, or it can be a few um, heroes in the new age um, uh, dictating or allowing uh, people, allowing them to be itself to be dictated to um, when, 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 when they are the, the, the vast majority. Uh, and for me, you know, these blueprint structures of the control system, you find them everywhere if you look for them. Mm -hmm. And it's hierarchy's got, hierarchy is the old limitation, um, I'm above you, you're above me, I know my place. That's the old epoch. That's what's coming down. The pyramids of power, they're coming down because that's an expression of the old energy. And, uh, and, and it's, um, it's a shame that so much of the, of, of the New Age, or significant swathes of it anyway, are still into hierarchy. It's, it's not the way it is. I, I would suggest anyway, but everyone must believe what they want to believe, of course. Time to turn the machine on. The Pentagon says to turn up the frequency tonight. If that shape-shifting ass. To me, like that again? I swear. Shut up, Bob. It reads our minds. Just turn it on. The sleeping lambs are waiting for their programming. Okay, Nancy, but I hope your panties are coming down tonight. No panties on. I'm horny tonight. Enjoy the programming, sheeple people. I'm going to enjoy Nancy. Night, night, sweet dreams. We've just got to not let fear get to us because that's the control system's most potent weapon.